Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever the time may be. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you happen to be new around here. My name is Widowed, aka James, and today is a bit of a one-off video, or maybe a two-off video, depending on how the finals go. But I'm just going to be talking about my dead man experience, because I just finished a series recently with one hour limit locked, and... It's been a few days since I've actually recorded anything. I felt like I wanted to record something, so I thought I'd talk about Dead Man because I was playing casually while I was still finishing the one hour limit lock series and I've been playing a bit more sweatily <laughs> since then. <laughs> so yeah, I've spent the last couple of days playing a lot of Dead Man and I thought it made sense just to, to tell you guys how I've been doing, what I've been up to and how we're getting along and looking prepared for the finals. I'm pretty happy overall with how I've done. I'm not a PvP player, if you're not familiar with me. I'm very not that type of person. Like, I just don't enjoy killing people. As an introduction, I killed one person this tournament. In level 50 wilderness, somebody logged in under me with a star sword and no gear on. And I thought, it's dead man, I have to. And I felt awful about it. I apologized as I was doing it. Dude didn't even try and run. He just punched me and like sat there. Oh, I killed him with my MSB. And I felt terrible about it. And then the loot key was like 13k, so I didn't feel too bad after that. But yeah, so that's how I, my how I feel about PvP usually. But that's when you catch someone out in the wild. The finals is all about PvP, and I'm excited for that. Because it's like going into an LMS game. I like LMS, I just don't like PKing. So we're going into a finals tomorrow, I've, or whenever it is. I have no idea what to expect, but... This is how I'm set up. So I guess we'll look at the stats first. I'm going to do a bit more training on my attack levels and possibly splash some more magic levels. Maybe get some ranged just on random shit in safe zones. I'm basically not leaving safe zones at this point because I've got too much worth cumulatively between my bank and my, my inventory right now. I mean, I did clean up my bank today. So it is like very clean at the minute just with what I'll need for tomorrow. But yeah, this is the set up we're rocking so i've got the arams the guthans helm just as a, a flat tank helm to use in these boots just as the boots we're using dragon gloves don't have barrows because we're not in the top bracket i am in the 91 to 110 bracket so that's where i'm wanting to stick right now i think i'm 106 yeah so i could still get a few more a fair fair few more attack levels or strength or defense even before like I would be in danger of moving up. So I'm probably just going to be AFK and random things in safe zones until the servers die at 12 hours from now or 12 and a half hours from now. But yeah, I'm not going to be going up above 110. I'm sticking it in this bracket. It's the bracket that I am. Um, like I wouldn't have time to get high enough to, to make it matter so but i could get some more melee stats up up to at least like 85s and i definitely intend to i just wanted to be like at the bank so i could show what i had and stuff the the gear yeah we've got the arims the flat stuff that we're using in all styles like fury i'm going with the fire cape i think because i don't know how important an avis is gonna be it's only a tier two avis so it's not that good and like i don't care how many arrows I save, right? As long as I don't run out. And I think with 600 dragon arrows, I should be okay, because I'm not going to be using range that often. I'm just going to be using it for this dark bow special, and if I am out of melee range, but my opponent's camping mage pro. If I'm even in a 1v1, I don't know if that's going to happen at all, or if it's just going to be overrun with clans. To be honest, I'm probably going to die in the first two minutes. But, like, hopefully we get into a couple scraps against other lone players, because that would be more fun, at least, than just getting annihilated and run over by whatever random clan. But yeah, we got the carols into the dark bow switch. I managed to pick up my arms and my carol pieces a few days ago, so... I got them at a decent price before everything shot up towards the end of DMM. And then I was planning to just bring four Guffins into the final to use the War Spear for extra regen. But I had extra money, so I've just sold my Guffin Spear, as you can see. I got myself a Stat Hammer instead. This beastly thing that has its own defense reducing special attack that deals extra damage. Like, I'm actually stacked right now. 
It's not corrupt or anything, it's a real one, so is the dark bow. Like, I feel like we're set up to be a fucking menace. We got the blue moon staff here so we can auto cast our ancients. Got that blood barrage on lock, baby. If I swap though and swap back, did it reset that? Ooh, that's annoying. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? It's not keeping it when I... Oh no, it's going to make me reset it every time I switch. What? Since when do staffs do that? Am I tripping? Is that like a PvP thing? Maybe it's a PvP thing. I don't know PvP rules. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to be auto-casting too much, but I don't know how much I'm actually going to be switching, because if it's just big clumps of people and clans, then... I'm just going to be casting Blood Barrage and hoping I don't die. That's what's going to carry us a lot of the way, and that is why I'm using the relics I'm using as well. So let's have a look at those. Okay, we've gone with Arcane Swiftness for an extra one tick speed on the mage attacks, which will make those Blood Barrages come nice and quickly. Same for the Ice Barrages if I do need them, and I'm carrying plenty just in case. We got Restoration for an extra 10% heals of damage dealt, minimum like it's rounded up, so if I deal one damage, I heal one hit point. Anywhere above 10 to 20 would heal me two hit points, etc, etc. So it's pretty nice, to be honest. I've, I had this on since like day four or five of dead man whenever i could afford it and it was like two mil at the time and yeah it's just amazing can't go wrong at all it's gonna give me extra heals and sustainability which i'm hoping will be an edge that will let me like outlast some of these fights if i do get into scraps i really hope it's just like a big lms game and i can find a couple of individual fights without just getting stomped on by a group of people maybe i'm like tripping to expect that but that's what dead man should be to me so that's how i'm hoping it's gonna go i guess because i'll probably still die very quickly but i'll at least get a chance to fight someone you know to rock some switches into my setting my auto cast <laughs> Oh, this is going to go tragically. But, overall, the tournament's gone very well. I'm going to put some melee gear on it and just go and hit some things so that I am not wasting my time while I ramble about what I've been up to through the tournament. So we're going to go with Swashbuckler and Barrows to get extra one tick melee speed and... Barrows will stop our gear from degrading, so we don't have to worry about that while we're just dealing with why the dweebs were dealing with. Gravical super combat, so we got plenty. Okay, may as well just take those prayer pots as well and slap piety on. Gonna be using restores and overloads tomorrow, so these are just free resources basically. So for the past couple of days, I've been making a lot of money from just alking at the GE. The sigil of the Alchemaniac is honestly busted. It's just nuts. It gives you an extra 30% gold when you alk, which doesn't seem like a lot, but the thing is, it makes things that are unprofitable, profitable. And it makes things that were already profitable, ridiculously profitable. So like, you know, I've been buying, and the prices are all weird, because it's dead man and people need what they need when they need it. So like, I've been able to buy stacks of 70 black dehydes, for example. I can get them for 320k each. And when I alk them, it's going to give me about 480k back, I think. Which is just absurd for something that takes maybe 5 minutes and gets me decent magic XP. So I've just been leveling my magic at the GE by alking shit for the past couple days. And I've made so much money that's allowed me to get these gear upgrades. Like the stat hammer, the light bearer that I didn't have until the last day or so. And yeah, that's been super nice. And I've just got extra supplies as well. Like I just made sure I stocked up on runes, potions, food, everything that I might need if I do survive a couple fights and, you know, make it to a bank somewhere where I can restock, then I'm hoping that might help. I'm planning to take a looting bag with me as well, filled with some sort of supplies in case so I can destroy it mid-fight if I really, really need the extra resources. Yeah, things are... Looking decent. If it wasn't for the knowledge that I'm probably just going to get stopped by a clan, I'd be feeling confident. Not that I'm a good PvP or either, but just from how I've got set up, feels like we're in a good position. But I don't know, let me know in the comments if I'm actually a massive fucking loser. 
and I look like the biggest noob ever with my fat dad bod and my big hammer. I don't know, I feel like a fucking king. Look at all these bones. Actually, I should probably be taking these. I can get extra prior levels. 68 XP per bone, 1170. I think we can do it, folks. I think we can get to level 79 at least. Look at all these bad boys on the floor. Anyway, I don't really know what the point of this video was, besides what I've already said at this point. Oh, I guess I was going to talk about what I did through the tournament as well, yeah. Because I've only started Alkin recently. Before that point, my main moneymaker has been Perilous Moons. Actually, let's go look at the log, because it's almost completed. Crazy. Look at that. 47 chests, two pieces missing. The Blood Moon chest and the Blood Moon helm. Everything else I had one of. And let me tell you, the uniques weren't even the best part about this. The resources were crazy. Low level herbs were worth so much to this dead man because everyone wanted to train their herb low levels up for things like Chambers of Zeric or Perilous Moons or just for the Blighted Overloads or for whatever. So herbs, super expensive. But the higher level herbs were worth less and the low level herbs are worth more because everybody was low level. So I was getting like 3k per Irrit and Haralander from the chests, and you get shit tons of those from Perilous Moons. On top of that, we got water orbs going for 4k a pop because people want crafting too for some absurd fucking reason. So that was making me absolute bank just from the resources even soft clay was going for like 450 gp each and you know you get it in stacks there basically all the shitty resources that you usually get from moons that you're like oh why is this even in my inventory were making absolute bank through this tournament and i was chilling there because i had my restoration on i had my sigil of the barrows and my swashbuckler on Basically the exact same setup I'm wearing right now. And I was using a Guffin Spear as well, so I was always full health, and I didn't really have to eat at all. So I always had a full inventory of food and potions on me if someone found me. It was just, like, super chill. I got to run around, kill moons, get uniques every five chests or so, and reaping rewards even when I wasn't from all the other random shit. I think one thing... Like, one reason I'm, I wanted to go there was because it's new. Not because, oh, it's new content, yay, because I've done shit tons of moons. Like, I'm very familiar with it at this point. There's a hit points level. Love to see it. I actually need attack XP. Yeah, and defense after. But because it's new, less people know about it. It's a less popular area. And, like, that'll only be the case for so long. But I think one thing about PvPers in particular is, about PKers, the types of people that are going to be hunting people down on Dead Man Worlds, they don't like learning new PVM content. And the Perilous Moons is kind of fucking weird. Plus you have to do a weird quest to get into it in the first place, which has some requirements that no PKer in the right mind is going to want to train. It's an out of the way place. And it requires knowledge that I'm pretty sure 90% of the PvP player base doesn't have. So, I felt pretty safe there. I did get PK'd there one time. There was a guy stood outside one of the rooms, and he didn't react when I entered. So I thought, okay, I'll go into the boss room. And I did, and then after two minutes he came in and entangled me, and I was like, oh, I'm dead, because I can't move. And the things that move around in the perilous moons that you have to follow deal a lot of damage if you don't move out of them so i died very quickly but i sort of learned my mistake i shouldn't have just walked past that guy who was stood there with like a fire staff and no armor on i should have just fucking smacked him and if i'd seen him again i was definitely just gonna smack him outside the room where it's safer for me to take the fight but yeah i didn't see anyone else other than that one time no one else tried to pk me there there was one guy who was like hanging around the city of Camtarum itself for a couple of days. He was like staking it out and I'd, I'd saw him a few times, but usually I just got an instant telly and then hopped worlds. Like just cautious with the way I went in there to make sure I didn't get caught out by someone. Yeah, it's been a very chill experience. I've not had very many fights or escapes at all really. I mean, I died a bunch of times obviously, but I haven't suffered any ridiculous setbacks that we haven't overcome. So I think that's probably about all there is to say on it. I'm looking forward to the final. I'm hoping I actually get to participate for more than five minutes, but 
time will tell. I am planning on recording the experience, but depending on how long I'll last, I don't know if I'll put it out, you know. If I last a half an hour, I get into a couple of brawls and then die to some guy who's better than me, then yeah, I'll probably put it out. But if I just get stomped in two minutes by like whatever clan I log in on top of, then I really have no idea how it's going to go. I've never seen a dead man finale because it's always just been chaos that I can't follow. So the one time that it happened when I was like backing around the game was the, the last one and I just I tuned in for like a minute and I was still fairly new to the game again and I just couldn't see a thing so it was kind of like the breaches were at that dead man I just didn't go because I went to one and I couldn't see I don't think I knew what entity hider was at the time I have no idea how I'm gonna do that tomorrow though because the breaches this time entity hider so like how am I gonna actual like fight players among a mass of players it's gonna be absolutely abysmal i think i'm gonna have to turn off player indicators ah and just go by actual people because the names hovering around will be terrible but yeah if any of you have any any tips for me going into the finale from experienced seasoned dead manners please feel free to leave them i will read them all and probably still just die anyway uh, I've had a fun time. I managed to get my 30,000 points, which is what you need for all of the rewards. So I will have a nice mage cape on my main iron man account after this with the dead man skull on the back as well as all the other rewards for whatever the hell they're worth. Let's be honest, we're all only here for the cape. Hope you all in enjoyed the video. I'll leave a like if you did. Feel free to roast my fit in the comments and... I'll maybe see you in a couple of days once the finals happened, if I have anything decent to show you. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be uh, a few more days from me before I'm back with another video, which will be either Wild West or RuneScape Party related. Haven't decided which yet, but I figured it was no point, like working on a new series until Dead Man wrapped up. But thank you to the two people who donated bonds towards the Wild West as well. I've got those both on the account. Uh, I mean, you guys know that because you traded it over to them. But yeah, shout out to the people who donated bonds. I'm going to stop waiting. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm a beast, you're a beast too. Let's all be beasts together. Is that a thing? I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to say things like that. Why did I say that? Is this what dead man's doing to me? Making me say words like beast. I'm actually like losing respect for myself the more I open my mouth. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.